Hey guys, so in this section we're gonna continue with the template configuration. Previous section we configured the MX, in this section we're gonna configure the switch. So we go under switches, we click on the profile. Here we all need to specify what kind of switches you have. So let's say we have MS390. And let's name it MS350. All right, so you have it here. What's gonna happen is all the MS 250s will have that configuration. Now we wanna configure the ports. So you select all of them. There's no stack. I don't wanna configure the stack. So the first thing I would do is actually I configure them all as axis. That's what I would do. Spanning three, big Dugar. Let's do on VLAN 10. The voice VLAN. Actually, we didn't configure the voice VLAN, but let's make it VLAN 30 as voice VLAN. The link negotiation, if you wanna and disable or enable that, you could give it a description or a name. If you wanna make it isolated, uh, you wanna enable UDLD, I think I'm good. Alright, then let's take those two uplinks, 27 and 28. Alright, let's edit them. We wanna make them trunk, uh, native VLAN, let's make it 100. Management VLAN. Build you guard? No, we don't wanna do um, build you guard here. Because those are gonna be uplink. Uh, trusted, yes. We're gonna configure the ACP on them. And let's make them into an aggregate. And aggregate. So that you could see here the aggregate is like a port channel. So you could give it a name. Just to enable, blah blah blah. So we configure, we finish, let's, this is, we finish the configuration of the switch. Let's go and configure the switch settings. So here we could configure, give the switch a priority or whatever. You could uh, configure storm control. The cast, broadcast, unknown unicast. You could disable multicast, configure POS and so on, change the management VLAN to 100. Access policy is for the radius, like um, you need to do my, uh, my radius, you provide here the radius configuration. You want to have a single host authentication, multiple domain, uh, multiple authentication, multiple domain is with hybrid, so and it will allow uh, map bypass and so on. Maybe profile the ports. So let's say this is the distribution. I want to configure all of them as trunk. You could do that. And you could configure each other as aggregate at the same time. And if you have a different type switch, you just have to specify the different type. You'll have to create a profile for each type of a switch, even if it has the same configuration. Alright, I think that's enough for the switch section. Now we're gonna do the wireless. So, this is the wireless, you click on the SSIDs. And as you can see, since we did a cloning from the branch uh, NetPrepare BR1, we got most of the configuration here. So you could see this is the staff. It is using uh, Enterprise with my radio server. Those are disabled. Uh, there's no splash page. Those are the radius configuration. 
We're accepting filter ID and we're getting on VLAN 20. And the, the others have the same, um, the guest network has the same stuff and identity pressure key with radius. And here it's going to have the same keys. Okay. You can update them if you want. So what we're going to do under traffic shaping and firewall. So you could, uh, you could guys see that it has the policy cannot be tweaked uh, based on the source because this is only a destination. So there's not a lot of um, difference between the configuring a template or configuring a normal uh, SSID. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, so thanks for joining. Um, so, and if you could see, if you go under here, we look at the networks. You could actually see the configuration here under this. So you see, this is it, and you could see the configuration. But it says uh, this network is bound to the configuration template. So you cannot do a lot of, uh, you cannot uh, uh, change it from here. And you could see the VLAN that has been assigned to it. You can even check the firewall rules that has been applied based on the template that we created in based on the template that we created in the template. <laughs> All right, guys. So thanks for joining. Uh, please, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions, please. Uh, Feel free to reach out to our contact us page, there's information there, or just by putting a comment in the comment section. Thank you.